boy, this is a workout. But I tell you what, if you want to get fit, go to the gym. If, on the other hand, you want to be a boater, you do have to learn a few things about anchors. Hi folks, I'm Lenny Rudo for Boat US Magazine, and I'm here today to talk about the basics of what an anchor is and what it does. Now there are a lot of different types, shapes, styles, and sizes of anchors, and that's one of the reasons we came to this West Marine in Annapolis, Maryland, where they have a large selection of them. In fact, if you went back there in the aisle and looked, you'd see 50 or 60 different anchors back there right now. How will you know exactly which one to choose? Well, it varies quite a bit depending on the bottom type in the area you're in, the style of boat you have, the size boat you have, and all of that can change. So it's really a good idea to talk to the experts at a store like this West Marine to get their input on your particular location. Now that said, let's talk about some of the specifics of these different types of anchors. Now you old salts, you can probably just go ahead and tune out. But you new boaters, this is important stuff to know because let's say you walk into the store, you want to be able to speak intelligently with the people there, right? Well, here's the first thing you need to know about an anchor. It has these things called flukes. These give an anchor their holding power. They dig into the bottom. And all different styles of anchors have flukes. This piece down here is called the crown. This holds the different pieces of the anchor together. It's basically the base. And you can see here it attaches the flukes to this piece. We call this the shank. At the top of the shank, there's an eye. And that, of course, is what you attach your line to. Use a shackle like this. Put it through the eye. Then bring your chain up and put the pin right through there. There. There you go. Now if I were going to put this on my boat, I would secure this pin. It's called seizing it with a piece of wire. Make absolutely sure that shackle doesn't spin out. But the interesting thing is all these different anchors have an eye like this, right? Every different style, like this claw style. Where you can look at this plow style anchor which has a very different set of flukes. It's actually just like a plow. And just as you can picture in your mind, it plows right into the bottom. Heck, there's even an eye and a shackle on this little grappling anchor. It's a very different kind of anchor, obviously, than these others. But it's, you know, it's got its advantages. It's compact, it packs up. And you can open it up like that. Now, it obviously has some rather unique parts. It has an eye on the back, so you can attach a line to it to pull it back out if you need to. Um, some other unique parts you might want to look at are, say, well, the stock on this Danforth. Danforth has a big stock on the bottom. This is intended to help the anchor, when it lands, hit the bottom in the right way so it doesn't go sideways and then drag into the mud so it holds. The downside being you can tangle your chain and line around it on occasion. Um, you know, the claw doesn't really have any incredibly unusual parts, nor does this plow. Although it does have this bar in the back, which is not exactly a stock, but you know, certainly has its similarities. Now again, I know you're wondering which specific anchor should you buy for your boat. And again, I want to advise, talk to local experts. Different places have different bottom types, and it really can vary quite a bit as to which is going to be the best choice for you. Now that said, you probably also want to know how to lower and how to retrieve an anchor, right? Well, fortunately, we have a video on that very topic just stick around on the Boat US Magazine YouTube channel, plug it into the search box, and you'll find it, how to drop and retrieve an anchor. Well, folks, I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope you leave some comments in the box below. If there are any other topics you'd like to see us address, please feel free to put them in there.